here. I'm Elise Archer, visibility coach and personal brand strategist, and I want to share with you today a little bit of a, I would say not really an aha, but a maybe a good reminder that came up for me while I was doing my 2020 planning. So if you're like me, you know, it's the beginning of 2020, it's the new year, you may have just spent some time last week, or maybe it's this week, like really thinking about what your 2020 goals are and getting them down on paper. And I did this for myself last week. And when I was sitting down writing out my goals, I started to notice the self-doubt creep in. And it was like, who am I to think I can do this? And who am I to think that I can accomplish these goals and you know, multiply my revenue and multiply my impact and multiply my audience and yada yada. And it gave me such a good reminder that self-doubt is selfish. And it is so true. And this is something that I talk about all the time in my content, but you know, sometimes we all need a dose of our own medicine and I needed one for myself last week. And I hope this helps you. But if you feel any element of self-doubt as you, you know, create your goals for this year or go to, um, you know, put yourself out there more visibly on social media or on stages, I want you to remember that by its very nature, self-doubt is selfish because it means you are thinking about yourself. And so whatever you need to do to get out of the mindset of thinking about yourself and start getting your mind on service, that is the solution. You know, it could be just thinking about your ideal client before you go to create your content or step on that stage and think about what are they struggling with? What do they need right now? Um, you know, maybe it's printing out a picture of your favorite client or your client avatar. Um, you know, it's like the perfect client that you wish you could work with, having an actual visual in front of you while you do your content. Um, or even just like reading testimonials from clients who love you and um, have, you know, their lives have been impacted by working with you or your company before you go to put yourself out there. You realize that if you stay small, if you don't get visible, if you shrink because you are too busy worrying about yourself, it is a massive difference service to the people who need you and they just don't know about you yet. Okay. So this was the reminder I had to give myself last week and I'm feeling like hopefully it's speaking to, um, speaking to you if you're watching this video today. So I just want to encourage you in your journey, encourage you to remember that it's not about you. You're going to be blessed. You're going to make a lot of money. You're going to feel really great about your life and serve a big purpose by putting yourself out there. But at the end of the day, um, it's really about serving and helping other people. So uh, let me know in the comments below what your questions are on this, what your thoughts are on this. How do you conquer self-doubt? How do you deal with it when it comes up in your business? I want to hear from you. Bye for now.